Right, the first thing we're going to do is looking at that Berkeley, the five-inch pearl watermelon chad, and we find rigging it with a with a one-ounce five-o hook. Obviously, a good quality hook is really important. This is a Berkeley jig head. Um, it has to be high quality. Using cheap hooks is just not an option. Um, obviously, using that that uh, whiplash, the braided line, it's very direct and big head shakes. And if it's not a high quality hook then it's definitely going to straighten. So make sure that's high quality, a Berkeley one. Very good. And then it's pretty simple. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold the jig head against the bait. Hold the jig head against the bait like that. And you can see where the bend of the hook comes out the top, where it's going to come out the top. So you just hold your, you pinch it like that, and you just do a little mark there where the hook needs to come out, just like that. Do a little mark on the bait. <coughs> and then if you have a look at the, the soft bait, it's got a, it's a little opening underneath in the belly. So you go through the top from the front and the hook will come out, out in that gap in that belly and then you push it over onto the bait holder. There we go. And now you're going to spin it around and where you made that mark on the drop shot, you're going to aim at that with a hook. You come straight out of there. And there it sits absolutely perfectly to give it the best possible action. And you won't believe how important it is to, to put that drop shot on straight. If you put it on too far back, like this, it doesn't look good in the water. And if you stretch it too much and put it too far forward, it's going to sit like that on the jig head. So you want it just in the right place. Like that. Nice and natural. And it definitely helps with more bites to do that properly. But it's very important to use the wire in conjunction with an all bright knot instead of a swivel. We use a, a thin piece of number three. This is American fishing wire. Just do a little loop with a haywire twist, three or four twists, and then neaten it off. A couple more twists around the wire, make it nice and neat. Yeah. Okay, we got the only thing left to do now is to take that tag in, and this is very important. Bend it at 90 degrees and twist it off so you don't get a spiky piece left if you cut it. So you just twist that off. There. there, the first part of it done. Don't be shy to make it a slightly bigger loop. Nice free action on the jig head. The next thing what you'll do now is you, you'll take your leader. I use a 40 pound nylon. I don't like to use fluorocarbon when, you, when you're drop shotting. The reason for that is the all bright knot from the fluorocarbon to the wire is not as strong as the normal nylon. And also the joining of the, the fluorocarbon to the braid is not as strong as nylon to braid. So it just makes it stronger. And because you're working the lure a little bit faster, um, it's quite a, quite, quite a bit more of a reaction bite than a, than a finesse bite. So it's not like a live bait where the fish comes and looks at the live bait and has a good look at it and might see the leader. It's, it's quite quick, the drop shot shooting around, so it's not actually going to have time to have a good look at the leader. Okay, you want to use about 10 centimeters up. And you're going to fold that wire down. You don't have to pinch it too hard. And then you use the, the all bright knot. So, so you go in through the loop and then you wind it three times down back towards the bait. Like that. And then you're going to wind it tighter on the way up four times. One, two, three, four. And you see now you left of the loop and the nylon going in this side, so you want to go make sure it comes out the other side, the opposite side. Two sides of the wire, not out the same side as it went in. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull the, the leader side of it, pull it up slowly, start setting, and then you're going to pull that tag in simultaneously, a little bit, let it set up, tag in, and then the main line. Okay. So that's there, you can pull it up tight, 
take a pair of scissors and you can cut it off really close. It's not going to slip now. It's done. Cut that off. And then once again, it's really important not to cut the wire. You're going to bend that wire to 90 degrees like that. And then you're going to hold the knot, your index finger and your thumb. You're going to bend that, make a little 90 degree bend, and you're going to wind it. One, and it should just break off there. Yeah, it's nice and smooth, and much more finesse than putting a swivel on and very strong.